we've always had a president's house table at every farmer's market. We have lots of local farmers there, and then we also like to give out some produce from South Carolina. We'll be giving out peanuts today, but we've given out oh, apples, oranges, um, blueberries, different kinds of melons. We even had yellow watermelons one time that were from South Carolina, and they were great. You know, we just want to give people the notion that it's a good idea to snack and eat from things that come right from nature rather than having a lot of processed foods. So I'm really delighted that we have the farmer's market on campus, and our staff is supporting it, and the students are supporting it, so we hope the farmers will continue to come back. You know, it's good for them, and it's good for us, too. Freddie Drafts, our horticulturist, thought about having a vegetable garden when we lost an old oak tree. And when we took it down, we had a lot of sunshine that we didn't have before. So he thought it might be nice to have a vegetable garden. We started out with kale and Swiss chard and collards and carrots, potatoes and onions. That was kind of like the winter crops. And we grew, we were so successful with the potatoes and the onions that we used them in many, many events and we were able to give away about 90 pounds of potatoes and onions to the Harvest Hope Food Bank. Well, you know, the students really started the farmer's market. It really, the idea, the genesis of that idea came from student government. And they worked with Healthy Carolina and they got that off the ground. So I think the students are really excited by it for, for health reasons. I think that's wonderful. And so then if we have a lot of things going on for them on campus that bring the attention to, to healthy eating, whether it's a cooking class or a farmer's market, you know, we hope that that's kind of setting a good example for not only for the students, but really for our whole university community.